Hi guys, today we are going to learn about variation of voltage across inductor and capacitor with frequency series resonant circuit. So whenever resonance will occur, whenever XL is equal to XC, resonant resonance will occur. Let us consider a series RLC circuit like this. So, which a voltage source is connected like this. Okay. So, this voltage source is having constant magnitude. Constant magnitude. But frequency is varying, either increasing or decreasing. Okay. So, frequency is variable. This one is R, L, and this is C. The voltage appears across resistance is Vr. The voltage appears across inductor will be Vl. Voltage appears across the capacitor will be Vc. Let us consider. Okay. So, uh, let us initially consider the variation of impedance and current. Variation of impedance and current P with respect to frequency. This uh, frequency, let us consider x axis as the frequency and y axis as the impedance and the current. Okay? If you draw the plot between frequency and impedance in a series resonant circuit, we will get the plot like this. Okay? Initially, the impedance is at infinite point, slowly it will decrease and then again it will increase. It is the point where the impedance is a minimum. Okay. Whenever in any circuit, impedance is minimum, what about current? Current will be maximum. Okay. So, if you draw the plot between current and frequency, okay, then that will be like this. Okay. It is the point where the maximum current will occur and it is the point where the Minimum impedance will occur. This is the magnitude of impedance. Okay. So, this frequency is called resonant frequency. Resonant frequency. Now, what we will do is, we will find the voltage across inductor. First of all, we will find the voltage across inductor. What is voltage across inductor we have taken? We have taken voltage across inductor as Vl. Okay. So, what is Vl? Vl is equal to, see here, Vl is equal to E into Xl. Okay. E is equal to V by XL is equal to omega L. XL is equal to omega L and XC is equal to 1 by omega C. Okay. So here I is equal to V by Z and XL is equal to omega. For series circuit, what is the impedance? That is equal to root over R square plus XL minus XC whole square. XL minus XC whole square. So from that Z is equal to root over R square plus XL is equal to omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. This is the impedance. Now PL is equal to V into omega L by Z. Z is root over R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. Let us consider V L square. This is for our convenience only. Okay, if you consider V L square, automatically this root will get cancelled. V square omega square L square by R square plus 
omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. Okay. So, this is VL square. Now, obtain the condition for maximum voltage across the inductor. What we have to do is, we have to differentiate VL square with respect to frequency and equate it to zero. Okay, VL square. This is VL square. Okay, for this, differentiating in the sense, d by dx of u by v formula we have to use. d by dx of u by v, which is equal to d du by dx, v du by dx minus u dv by dx, u dv by dx by v square. By using this formula, uh, we can differentiate the VL square. Okay. So after differentiating, we get the expression that is R square minus 2L by C plus 2 by omega square C square is equal to D. So this is the equation we will get after simplification. Now from this omega square will be equal to 1 by LC minus R square C square by two. R square C square by 2. What is omega L? Omega L is equal to 2 by F L. Okay. So from that F L is equal to 1 by 2 by into omega 1 by 2 by into which is equal, omega L is equal to 2 by FL. L and L will get cancelled. Then FL is equal to 1 by 2 by into omega. So FL is the frequency. Let us consider FL is the frequency where maximum voltage appears across the inductor. VL will be maximum. See, now the FL will be FL is equal to 1 by 2 by 1 by 2 by this root over root over LC minus R square C square by 2. Okay. So this is the frequency at which maximum voltage appears across the inductor. In a similar way, we will find the maximum voltage addition for maximum voltage appears across the capacitor. This is equal to I into Xc which is equal to I into what is Xc? Xc is equal to 1 by mega C. Actually what is I? I is equal to V by Z that is V by that is equal to, for series reason circuit, that is equal to R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square into 1 by omega C. So, let us consider Vc square. Vc square will be V square by omega square C square into R square plus omega L minus 1 by omega C whole square. We are considering Vc square simply to avoid this root. Okay? Now, if we differentiate this Vc square with respect to frequency and equating it to 0, we will get the condition for the frequency where the maximum voltage appears across the Faster. Okay. So after simplifying this one, we will get omega c square is equal to 1 by Lc minus r square by 2L we will get. 
from that the omega omega c in the sense of frequency capacitor as it is a frequency for capacitor we are considering like this omega c which is equal to root over 1 by lc minus r square by 2l from the lc minus r square by 2l so from that we have to c is equal to 1 by 2 pi into root over 1 by lc minus r square by 2l r square by 2l this is the frequency where the voltage across a capacitor will be maximum where the voltage across capacitor will be maximum and fl is equal to 1 by 2 by root over lc minus r square c square by 2 okay this is the frequency where the voltage appears across the inductor will be maximum okay so across the capacitor the maximum voltage appears below the resonant frequency below the resonant frequency across the inductor the maximum maximum voltage appears above the resonant frequency okay we'll plot the conditions in the next video okay thank you